I showed you in last week's exercises how you could create a child theme and set up your own custom CSS. We're going to go ahead and continue our work on our child theme and I'm going to teach you some other techniques to use that are best practice and also that will help you to make further augmentations. The first thing that we're going to start off by doing is we're going to start off by making a PHP file. If you look inside your parent theme directory, you're going to see that there's a bunch of different files located there. We've already created our own custom style.css, which is working in conjunction with the parent themes CSS file, and also in some cases overwriting some of the parent themes CSS styles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be creating our own custom function.php file. The function.php file exists inside the parent theme as well. The function.php file is a file that behaves like a WordPress plugin. It adds features and functionalities to your WordPress site. You can use it to call functions, both PHP and built-in WordPress functions, and you can define your own functions here too. So when you create a child theme, you can create your own function.php file. The child functions file can be used to augment or replace the parent themes function files. With function files, you can use WordPress hooks and WordPress actions and filters to alter almost everything that WordPress does. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. I'm going to go into my editor and I'm going to create a new file and I'll save this file and I'm going to save it into my child theme folder and I'm going to call it functions.php. It needs to have the exact same name as the parent theme file that you want to replace. In this case it's functions.php. Once I have this file I can begin to add some PHP. So the first thing that we're going to add to our functions.php file is we're going to do something called enqueuing. And we're going to enqueue our child theme style sheet file here. In the previous week's exercise, I showed you how you could import the parent theme style sheet using the at import command. This is no longer considered best practice as it increases the amount of time it takes the style sheet to load. The preferred method is to enqueue the parent theme style sheet and you do this by writing a little bit of PHP script in your child themes function.php file. So I'm going to go into my function.php file and I'm going to begin by creating an opening PHP command. Once I've done this, I can enqueue the parent and child theme style sheets. We're going to do this by doing something called add action. So the code that we're adding here is we're using the add action command, which is going to use the WP enqueue scripts command, and it's going to enqueue the scripts into the my theme enqueue styles. I also need to create a function here that will ensure that the custom styles that we're making in our child theme are being enqueued as a dependency and they're going to be loaded after the parent styles load. This is important because if you make any styles that are going to overwrite your custom styles.css files, then you need to ensure that your CSS file comes after. I'm going to save the functions.php file. I'm going to go back into my style.css file and I'm going to delete the at import rule and we'll save the style file as well. At this point, if I go back into the browser and we look at the front end portion of the website and we refresh, we should see that the same results are still occurring. So if I go to my yoga retreats, you can see that my custom H2 settings are occurring as well as the changes that we made to the navigation bar and on the home page. So now I'm getting the same end results but the process to getting them is slightly different. So instead of using that at import rule, we're actually enqueuing the files to be added within our function.php file. Unlike the style.css file, the function.php of a child theme doesn't override the parent function file. 
Instead, it's loaded in addition to the parent's function.php file. In this way, the function.php file from the child theme allows you to create a trouble-free method of modifying the functionality of the parent theme. And in this week's exercise, we'll be doing some additional modifications to the functions.php file, but this is the first thing that I wanted to teach you how to do.